happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Ocean Digital WR390. This is an FM, DAB, DAB+, Bluetooth, Internet Portable Radio. You can find this selling on Amazon for $119.99. If you like what you see, I'll uh, pay links down below. Check them out. I'm an Amazon associate. I do make money off qualifying purchases, but at no additional cost to you. So if you want to support the channel, help out, get more products, use the links there. You guys rock. This is a cool radio. Really excited to show it off. So here we are with WR390. Uh, this is what you get in the box. This big radio. I love it. Um, also, in the box, we get uh, remote control. Loving that. We'll go over that a little bit. We also get batteries for the remote. Nice. So don't have to run around buying those. We get a charging cable. So this is portable, like I mentioned. It uses a USB to Type-C. And it has an internal 18650 battery to keep things running when you want to move it around. So it's pretty cool. You can bring it on the pack back porch, run it for a few hours, bring it back inside, plug it back in, keep it charged that way. Um, fantastic device. I love it. We got the manual here. This is the yeah, really nice illustrated. I like how they do their manuals. Not bad. Uh, we'll spend just a few minutes or maybe just a few seconds on this. I don't go crazy, but we'll just flip through it. Kind of show you the basics. So there's the remote control and all the stuff it can do. Because I'm not going to bog down the video by showing every little detail on every little button. So you can stop and read the manual if you want to. I'm just going to kind of bring it in on each page so you can get a general idea. And in case you lose your manual or you're kind of curious about the product, you'll have it right here. And I plan on possibly doing videos that just exhibit manuals only. So that'd be kind of nice, don't you think? So then if you want to know something, you just search WR390 manual and there it is. So yeah, cool stuff. This thing's going to be fun. We're really, we're going to explore what Wi-Fi has to offer. I'm sure you have those Alexas where you can say, Alexa, please, you know, show me uh, whatever top 40 dance. <laughs> it's right up there. Um, but uh, this is different. This is all hands-on. If you don't like talking to your devices, this is perfect. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm that kind of person. I really never like the phone where you have to tell them yes, no, talking to like a robot. Who doesn't care? So yeah, I'm not too excited about that. So I do like devices and interactions with real people. So <laughs> hopefully you're seeing this. Now the DAB function, digital audio broadcasting, is in Europe mainly, not in the United States. We do not have that service, so I won't be able to show that to you guys. But I will be able to give you a general idea on the FM radio. Pretty neat. It's nice that it has that. Very cool. We got Bluetooth playback. I think it's only a receive. I don't think it does transmit. I did not see transmit at all. We get an alarm, which is cool. You can wake to tone, favorites, FM radio, or DAB radio. Nice. So there you go. I know we spent some time on the manual, but this manual is pretty deep. And I figured I better go through every page. And I just kind of go through it. Here's setting up the Wi-Fi. It's real basic, real simple. Um, I had no trouble with mine. Uh, it took a little time to enter the password, so if your password has a bunch of numbers and letters and symbols, that'll take a while. <laughs> uh, there you go. So there's your DAB scanning, similar to FM scanning. Cool thing with FM it is you can incremental tune with it as well, not just scan. Uh, so that is nice that they put that in there. You can change the uh, display dim. It's got an EQ. The EQ is real important because, as most of you guys know, if you do have Wi-Fi radios, not all signals are created equal. You know, the download uh, compression might be really weak and kind of thin sounding. You have to kind of play with the EQ there to help it out. Now, this is cool. You can actually uh, log into your device uh, using a phone or a browser. And you can adjust your favorites and add to it. Yes, you can actually add a URL of the station you want to put in there as long as it supports it. Uh, so there you go. 
and we're almost done with this manual and then we'll get onto the device and have some fun. So yeah, there's the my favorites and then there's a way to edit them and add the URLs. Do you see that? That's pretty cool. And that's just by logging into your device. You just log in the IP address, you just plug it in and then you got this option to change all your favorites. You get 150 of them, so that's nice. And they're not saved on a server anywhere, they're saved on the device. Uh, here we go, got troubleshooting. I think we're pretty much done. I'm just going to go to the specs on the back here. Here we go. So we'll just freeze frame that. Boom. There's your lithium battery, 2200. And I think that is it. So let's put that away. All right. I spent a lot of time on that, but I wanted to. So, all right. So cable going away. These batteries, I already put batteries in. So that's what you get. Some kind of weird name. Batteries. Tinko. <laughs> nice. And then the cable. So there we go. All right. I'll put that there. We'll use that later. So the radio itself, dimension-wise, it is eight and one eighth of an inch in length. It's five and a half inches tall, and it's five and a quarter inches deep. So it's a fairly deep radio when you see this thing. Uh, it's a wooden cabinet, which is really awesome. It's kind of got a veneer on it, um, so it has some good tonal quality. I love that. Uh, we can do a quick size comparison here. I think I have a battery underneath here. Do I still have a battery here? Yeah, I got a little battery to kind of keep it propped up. It's kind of not level because of the whip antenna on the back. It is a whip antenna, which is great. Um, so we have radios, of course, CC pocket. We'll fit right where the speaker's at. <laughs> there you go. Give you a general idea. It's actually not too bad in size. It's just more boxy. Um, yeah, so you got your CC Skywave. Nice. There you go. Cool. Now, if there is a shortwave station uh, on SkyTune, it uses SkyTune as an aggregator. Um, it's cool, you can listen to it. And of course, then we got Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Wi Fi in his helmet, man. He's rocking ocean digital, man. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, pretty deep. Okay, cool. So let's talk about features of the WR390. We won't get bogged too down, too far down. We'll just have some fun. Uh, right away, we got a bright uh, LCD. We'll turn it on. So let's go ahead and Get the button here. I think it's press and hold. Yeah, press and hold to power it on. Just going by memory where the buttons are. There we go. So we have this nice color display, which still is like album art, songs playing. Turn it down. There we go. FM radio. Cool. So we're greeted. We got uh, antenna strength. Uh, it's broadcasting in stereo. FM radio. If it has RDS information, RDS is displayed as well, which is pretty cool. Those. It doesn't get to type well, but it might just be translation error. It's interesting. If I find a station, I will show you. But this is a audio demo I'm going to run in a second. But let's turn this down. It auto-dims, by the way, which is nice. But yeah, we got a remote sensor here. Over here, this is like a cloth covering. We have a 3-inch speaker. Um, it's pretty large, and it's got a nice big magnet. I know that because I took the back off this radio to see what was inside. And we'll talk about that. So let's go to the top of the radio here. All right, so the top you'll see we got a, uh, this is your volume knob. And it's also a select knob, so you can click it in. I don't know what's going to happen while I'm, I think it mutes. Yeah, it mutes while I'm on the radio. And so that's how you change your settings by scrolling and then clicking for selecting. Uh, let's see here, let me set this down so we can see the buttons. Uh, we have our favorites button. So yeah, you press and hold this to add. Uh, manually or use a remote, which is nice. The remote's easier, by the way, guys, but these buttons are all functional. You can do everything with the buttons. It just takes a little extra time. So we got our favorites, um, and you, know, you get 150 of them, and you just tap to recall. And we have four main presets you can set for your four favorite stations. The back and a forward, you'll find yourself using these to go forward uh, to see what information uh, is on the internet station, and back to back out of a menu. Home takes you to all those fun things, on the home screen, which we're going to show you in a second. We have alarm time and, of course, power function there. Let's go to the back of the radio. We have like a base port. Nice. You can see it's got six screws to hold the back on. It comes off pretty easily. Uh, there's our whip antenna, which comes up. And that one extends out to a nice uh, 28 and a half inches, which I find fantastic. You can hear the music playing still. Awesome. Uh, there's a sticker there. It says... Uh, 5 volts, 1.5 amps in for the Type-C power jack right there. And when you plug it in, a charge status LED turns red, and it's green when it's fully charged. There's a reset hole where you can reset the radio if you have a problem. 
Uh, they do have frequent updates. This one did have an update uh, twice, so I got it. Uh, here's your headphone jack, headphone experience, pretty much. Uh, it is a bunch of EQs, so I can't really talk about lows and highs because you can tweak it however you want because it has a custom EQ as well. Uh, but it has no low level hiss and stereo sounds fantastic. So if you want to add stereo speakers, you can and it will sound good. All right, great. Let's go ahead and spin this back around and let's have some fun exploring the radio. Yeah, that's what it's about. So this is the FM radio. Let's go ahead and just mute that real quick. Um, so the FM radio um, is pretty cool. I enjoy it. Uh, you don't have to use it, but it has RDS, so I find that nice. Um, we have current time and a date comes up here when you're in the Wi-Fi mode. But uh, for FM reception, uh, with that whip antenna, so you can use this without, like if your Wi-Fi is down, you can still listen to music with the FM. So let's get my color back. This is going to happen quite often. That's the color it should be. <laughs> That's the color it looks like. It's not reddish. Let's leave him out for right now. Um, so FM reception report. Uh, this got a good to very good. I go fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. And uh, this scored... Uh, good to very good, three and a half star rating on sensitivity with that big antenna, it should, and it got good selectivity. So it was able to find the stations in between uh, by the stronger uh, stations, it was able to find the weaker ones. Um, downstairs here, it's a little more difficult. I have to use like a little wire clip on to uh, get some uh, reception from the outdoors because I'm a subfloor basement. So let's go ahead, do an audio demo, have some fun, and uh, then we'll go explore the Wi-Fi part of this radio. So first, let's do the FM radio here. So I'm just going to pull out the little whip antenna here. So let's pull this little section out. Nice, right? This little wire you can pick up. Uh, it's Kato T1. I'll have links to it. There you go. It's just going to add a little extra reception when we go through the band. We'll do a little bit of show you how the presets work. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this up. Now, if you want your EQ, you press and hold the home button or you access it from your remote. It has a dedicated EQ button. That's why this remote is nice to use. So, EQ.
So there you go, some royalty free music from Radio Totterbert. Awesome, okay, let's get to the Wi-Fi part. But I do want to show you a little bit about the FM, because some people want to know about the FM radio, because it is a portable radio. Whoops, pulled that off a little too soon. We're still going to use that. All right. We're just going to turn off the transmitter. Okay, so now we should have static. All right, so favorites. Um, I can hit the button on the back here. I just forget where it's at. There it is. So you can do the button here. Now this is uh, my favorites for the Wi-Fi. And we want to go to the FM. So it's uh, arrow keys are going to be... So I got to look this up again. <laughs> Take a look. There we go. I didn't memorize where those buttons were at. <laughs> um, I think I got to hit back again to get the presets. Please be right. There it is. Okay, so... <laughs> um, let's see what we got. Do we have any talk radio? Yeah, there's talk radio right there. Okay. Half. Punch 91. My name is Iris Martinez, and I approve this message. Pay for by Iris for Cook County Circuit Court Clerk. Top trending stories on WBBMNewsRadio.com. Beyonce, for the moment, is pivoting from pop music to country with the reveal of her forthcoming album. So I press and hold the select button down, the select knob, and tuning comes up. And that means incremental tuning. So now when we tune the radio with the knob here, it's like a normal radio. Whoops, excuse me, use the arrow buttons. <laughs> That's still the volume. It's yeah. eleven forty-six. Good time for this. sports. The Blackhawks dumped. So we're gonna go down here. We've got music, but I can't hover on it. Let's... Whoops! That went too fast. Thank you. Very lame. There, Zachary. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Every throwback Thursday morning on Star, Joe and Tina play your classic requests at 7 and 8 a.m. Call in with your... So you notice you got the RDS information. So that's how that works. It's pretty simple. And of course, you have the uh, options of auto scanning and or doing your presets. So um, I'm going to use the remote if you guys don't mind because that's going to make it easier for me. <laughs> so get my color back again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, explore let's explore guys so let's go to the home menu show you what's on the home menu all right so you got my favorites real quick internet radio that's where you're going to search we got the media center uh you can hook up a you can have a pc running uh shared files or your router uh here we got dab radio it's identical to fm i'm not going to open it it will not work here in the states so but it does have dab and db plus as you can see then we have the fm radio we have bluetooth and of course, our alarm, sleep timer, or wait, timer, sleep timer, and configuration. So you go configuration, you can change the network, date and time, language, TAB setup, FM setup, local radio, so where you're located. Uh, so it gives you a local station list, which is nice. So I put my state in, playback setup, resume play options, auto power save, dimmer, which is really cool. You can adjust the dimmer on the fly. This one actually has a dedicated button I saw it in the uh, book but there you go you got dimmer info local home see all these great buttons on here all nice and handy to have your selector right here your alarm button snooze functions dedicated volume buttons dedicated you got a uh, favorites uh, recall and set favorites right here those are two favorite cool buttons to use mute button right there so yeah it's just a really cool setup on that remote so yeah let's go ahead now I went back to the radio so let's go ahead and we want to have some fun here um yeah configuration pretty basic right i went through that we don't have to go through anymore i don't think did i go through i didn't go through the whole thing but we should, probably should so let's go backwards up the list there we are reset the default software update information so you can check timer now buffer time it's two seconds or five seconds it comes default to two seconds i chose five seconds as you can see eq flat is probably like your best choice unless you're doing custom I found it to be, unless you're playing rock music, they have a rock one that sounds pretty good. Of course, auto power save, dimmer. Okay, I showed you that stuff. So let's go ahead and explore. So let's go to the home screen. Okay, I got to aim it at the little sensor. There's a sensor, I showed you that. So we're going to go search Sky Tune. So internet radio. Now you guys know I've reviewed a few of these radios in the past. They use a similar tech. So 
Uh, we're just going to hit Skytune. Yeah, we're going to go to Globe uh, by region. How about that? Yeah, by region. Here we can pick up. So we're going to go, let's go to Europe. Let's head out to Europe and see. Uh, let's go to, I'm not sure what's around here. For test only. Let's go to Germany. Let's in Germany. EDM. Let's go most popular, just for the heck of it. And we'll see if anything sounds good. Uh, this one sounds fun. Something funk. All right. Let's turn this up. Verkauft worden im Jahr danach viereinhalb Millionen, mehr als das Vierfache. Hinwendung zur Religiosität, davon profitieren alle drei monotheistischen okay. Religionsgemeinschaften. Ob es dabei alle Patriarchen ist unklar. <lacht> You get to hear the world. Um, so let's go ahead and back out of this. Let's see if we got some music here. Come on, there's got to be something good in here. Hit radio? Let's try that. Okay, it's English, can't hover on it, but see, you can see it says internet radio, has the IP address. Um, pretty cool. This will have a lapse time on the station. And then you can go in. Oh, it's Justin Timberlake. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, sometimes it has more information than just that, I believe. Oh, there we go. I keep hitting the uh, over arrow to the right so I can see what's going on. Okay, then we can bring up our clock, time, and date. Nice. All right. We're getting the idea what you can go. It's uh, Germany by state. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's exit Germany here. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Greece. Let's see what's going on over there. Let's go most popular again. Probably shouldn't do that, but we're going to. Uh, let's see. Sounds all right. Let's see what we got here. Turn it up. Βρες εύκολα κορυφαίες επιλογές και απόλαυσε τις πολυσυζητημένες ταινίες και σειρές. Δες τα όλα, ακόμα και εκτός σύνδεσης. Και το καλύτερο είναι ήδη στη νέο. So if I want to save it, you just go with the favorites. And uh, on the remote, it's pretty simple. You just hit that little where it shows arrow going down into the heart. So we're going to click it. Stored. Nice. Okay, so we got that Greek station, which I don't know what they're saying, but... <laughs> I'm hoping to find some music. Ο Μητσοτάκη προς το προς το Πασόκ, διότι ούτως ή άλλως πάμε προς τις ευρωεκλογές. Από ό,τι φαίνεται ο Πρωθυπουργός θα μπει απέναντι σε όλους και... So here we got any music. Virtual assistant from Wells Fargo makes banking faster English. and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can in the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank and a member of DIC. So now I just went around to having fun internet only, it said. So give it a shot. Thunderstorm. All right. Sounds of rain. We need to fall asleep. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. I'm sure there's other stuff on here. Oh, we got Dragnet. Cool. Okay, let's look at uh, my favorites, huh? Let's do that. So I'll recall my favorites. I got, uh, I think this is Ground Zero playing on WHAS, so we're going to go there. You know, it's just giving you a general idea Deep breath and relax. what you can but find. It gets, it gets <laughs> it's got a ray in Michigan. You're on with Pastor Paul. Go ahead. Hey, guys. I just wanted to throw out something I found interesting about Macron. Um, so he was born December 21st. Mm -hmm. And that's the exact oh, day yeah. that, the, that the Pope announced the uh, elegant evil. Or oh elegant yeah, the elegant demon. demon. It was on the twenty first. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, on McClellan's birthday. Yeah, that's. And then if you think, yeah. oh, go ahead, guys. No, I was just gonna say, I, I. So yeah, coast to coast, and there's really nice in the evenings if it's bad weather. 
you can listen in, so it's great. Banking. The guy who made it, directed it, is Frank Capra. Frank Capra was by no means on the political left. There's a bunch of steps that need to be made that are all assumptions in order to take the film yeah. and then yeah. categorize yeah. it as yeah. subversive yeah. and dangerous, yeah. Yeah. right? It had criteria for what it deemed to be subversive or communist. And ultimately, it was anything that was either pro-leftist or anti-capitalist or anti-democracy or anti-American. But they're so vague, are these terms, that that could mean virtually anything. FBI agents worked closely with Rand and Hop. So cool. Yeah, I got quite a bit in there, don't I? Look at that. It is fun. I have a great time exploring. I'm still exploring. Whoops, already stored it. What am I doing? Recall. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't hover on the music. I want to. Uh, let's see. Crime Old Time Radio. Let's see what we got there. Unmute. Whoops, muted it. Who? Harry Lime. And who is Harry Lime? Surely you have seen him around this hotel. Uh, tall, distinguished. And Foster would do business with this Harry Lime? Without hesitation, without question. And how can I be sure that Harry Lime will not cheat me? Huh. You can be sure of that. What you cannot be sure of, Herr Cop, is that he will help you at all. Why not? For the same reason that he will not cheat you. You have strange and disgusting acquaintances, Herr Mannheim. Harry Lime is incorruptible. Incorruptible? <laughs> this incorruptible person is the only man in Bern who could act as a go-between with Foster? That is correct. Very well. So yeah, we're almost done here. Just going through the different favorites. Later this year, an AI version of Elvis Presley uh, and the company that made digital Marilyn Monroe. They also have a digital Jack Nicholas if you're into the golf thing, Carmelo Anthony if you're into basketball. They make all sorts of celebrities and then they sell them to whoever wants to pay the highest amount. So it's 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 neat to show how far AI has come, but it's also somewhat creepy. Even though the estate has said yes, Marilyn Monroe, when she was around, AI wasn't a thing. She didn't give permission to this. Uh, and so I wonder what she would think if her likeness was being used to create a digital digital avatar. Cool demonstration of the technology, but certainly very murky ethics and morals. John Waters famously came out with smell vision with the movie Polyester and apparent. So CFRB here, pretty cool. Um, actually, it's better if it doesn't dim. <laughs> Screen's going wonky. Uh, pretty cool Canadian station I picked up, put it on here, 1010. Um, you can pick up on the radio sometimes, um, tuning them in, but uh, it's nice to have it right here on the internet radio. Loving it. Um, so yeah, definitely a cool device, uh, enjoying it. So let's go ahead and just do final thoughts on the radio and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just power this down. So you can go to sleep mode by just hitting the power button once and it takes you out of the stream and it shows you the clock and then, uh, you can actually power the radio down completely by pressing and holding. There you go. You can save the battery juice if you're not plugged in. That's what I recommend you do. So there it is. The ocean digital. WR390. I'm just going to lay the remote right here. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so, uh, final thoughts on this device. Uh, likes. I like the speaker audio. That three inch speaker is beautiful. Um, like I mentioned, I did take it apart. Got to see the speaker on the inside. Everything's built really well. Everything has jumpers for everything. The battery is actually mounted to the back plate, uh, when you take the back off. And it's a 18650 sealed battery. You know, like heat shrinked with the protection board on the side of it. And three wires coming out. So yeah, it looks like a temperature probe possibly and a positive negative wire. So it looks like you could replace it uh, if you know what you're doing. So uh, that doesn't seem to be that difficult of a replacement uh, for most people that know how to tinker on stuff. <laughs> the average person probably won't be able to, but they'll just have it plugged in then if the battery fails. But otherwise, most people could upgrade it even. I bet you there's enough room in here where you could put a bigger battery in if you wanted to. Um, so there is the that part of it, but I, I like the color screen. Awesome. A lot of information there. A uh, headphone audio. Uh, I can't stress how nice that is. And I can see people using that for external speakers or line out, even though it doesn't have line out, just use the headphone jack out. And that way you get your stereo sound. It does sound good, uh, depending on the station received. Uh, sometimes, you know, it depends. I've noticed uh, popular stations where you get drops because there's too many people listening. So you can get drops or you can't connect. So I have had that uh, periodically, but not, not too often. It has 150 favorites, which are on the unit itself. That's a beautiful thing. 
You get this cool remote control, which is super handy. Don't lose it. Uh, it's really going to help. Using the buttons up here are okay. They'll get you where you want to go, but this is more fun and easy from a sitting position. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, the wood cabinet, the good build quality. Like I said, when I took it apart, noticed all the stuff in there. And of course, the custom EQ settings. When you get to the custom EQ, the, the whole sound level changes. I mean, you can make this device sound exactly how you want it. Uh, do you want heavy bass? Do you want light bass with strong mids? you want a lot of highs because uh, you're into classical music? So you can definitely tweak it uh, even further with that custom EQ. And I really like that. Uh, dislike and wants an easy to replace battery would be nice, like a, just a battery door and that you could just insert the battery. That would have been perfect. I mean, they could have done that. I don't know why they didn't. Uh, that'd be a really neat thing to have that I would for something like this. Maybe a handle uh, of some type that would flip up, you know, and recess back. That'd be nice. Uh, if this truly portable, it'd just be easier than grabbing it and lugging it around like a little brick. <laughs> That's what you have to do. So, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see. And uh, extra streaming services. I know there's a lot of them out there uh, on these different radios. Um, I'd like to see maybe a few extras instead of SkyTune, maybe SkyTune plus a few extra streaming services. Um, that might be nice to have. So just little things there. That's my thoughts on the Ocean Digital WR390. Now for 119, is it a deal? Yeah, I would say it is because Sea Cranes uh, CC Radio Wi-Fi 3, I think it is, um, is smaller a device and uh, has a smaller speaker and everything. It's not going to sound as good as this, and it's the same price, and it offers the same stuff as SkyTune, and it doesn't have a color display. It just has a simple two-line display. So it depends on what your needs are. Uh, if you're just going to stuff it in a closet and use a amplifier, that might be fine, but if this is going to be kind of in the room with you, this is the way to go because this is more a furniture item. Yeah, definitely nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you did. If you like the radio, give it a big like. Uh, again, check out the pay links below if you want to support the channel. Uh, two, if you like Ocean Digital products and want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified. And three, comment below what you think about the WR390. Now, if you go in the past on my videos, you can search uh, Ocean Digital, and you'll see I've researched the 23F and reviewed it. Uh, they still sell that radio, believe it or not. Uh, and also the, uh, the 220N, I believe. Uh, I reviewed that one. It's a smaller version of this in plastic. And it's okay. This just sounds way better because you got the depth of the enclosure, which is really nice. So there it is, uh, the WR390. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So, yep, definitely come by next time, and we'll see you in the next video.